Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to do something a little bit different and we're going to analyze this new trailer from Hante Star Rail called Your Color. It's a trailer for the new character Akron that's coming out tomorrow and we're just gonna have a little analysis, look at some of the differences, well you can compare the differences between the English version and the Japanese version, but I'll mention some as well, um, some points where it's, it's different. And also we'll analyze the Japanese, some grammar as we kind of just go along. And we'll do it all pretty quickly. So let's just jump right into this. So first off, let's just have a listen. Okay. So let's look at this first part here. So Pinakoni. So that's the place. No, Jumin, so the residence. So people of Pinatoni, the residence of Pinatoni. No, Minasama. So that's just a polite way of saying everyone. So Mina and then Sama, that honorific. So all together with these nos are the possessive. So no here and then no there. So people or everyone, every resident of Pinatoni, right? Or all the people of Pinatoni. Goki genyo. So that's just a nice announcer way of saying, how are you all doing? How is it all going? How is it do? How do you do? Right? Okay, so this is pretty good to look at as well. So here we have chowa. So in the context of this video and the setting here for the game, the Harmony Festival is going on. In this case, they say chowa or harmony with ceremony, so ceremony, and then ni atari, so on the occasion of the harmony ceremony. Kaku is each or every guest. In this case, we have guesto, so each kaku guesto. Tachi, so tachi is a way to pluralize nouns, so you could say, for example, kimi tachi. So you all, in this case, they're saying guesto tachi, so guests, right? And then it's every guest because of that taku. Then we have after that, um, after the ga or the subject marking particle, tochaku. So that means arrival. Um, so it is tochaku, but it's tochakushite. It's a noun that you can make into a suru verb. Um, which they've done in this case. So tochaku is arrival, but if you take that and put a suru afterwards, in this case tochaku suru, then it would be to arrive. But we have the te form here, so tochaku shite, and then orimas. So when you have the te form of a, a verb, which we just saw with that arrival, and orimas, orimas means to have already completed something. So in this case, since we have arrival there, we have already arrived. So all together, on the occasion of the Harmony Festival, all of the guests have already arrived, have already arrived, right? So they've already arrived. Suzuki, so that's continuing or next. Wa. CM, so that's like the just TV program, right? No, and then ato de. So the TV program will continue later, ato de, later on, afterwards. So given the title of this video, we see Kimi no Ironi as this figure appears on the uh, television screen. Kimi no Ironi, so your color, Kimi, you. And then possessive no iro ni to your color. Someru. Someru to die. So someru means to die. So to die your color. <laughs> the visuals are crazy. <laughs> the 
music is so good. Then. Okay, so here we have kore wa. So this, she's like reflecting on the situation, just commenting. This, and then we have gen kaku, illusion. Is this an illusion? She's basically asking herself. And then here they say, <laughs> Love that. You can hear multiple voices in the backdrop there. Nice little bit of lore as well. Uh, he says, Sa. So, well, let's see. It's kind of the English equivalent in this context, right? So, well, let's see. Domo. How do you think? Or what do you think? Um, because now he's attacking her, right? <laughs> let's see. What do you think? Slice, slice. Going on. My Ooh, what a badass thing to say. Mai dose. So, well, whatever is like mai. It's not going to translate, unfortunately. But mai. Well, anyhow, any, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's all okay. Dose. In any case. Okay, that's interesting. We have bo, which is an archaic form of evening rain, so not used commonly, right, in standard Japanese. Um, but as for, so wa, topic marking particle, bo wa, as for the evening rain, evening rain, yagate furu, yagate furu. Soon or before long, it will fall. So before long, the evening rain will fall. So just kind of like an idiomatic expression, right? Um, how I would translate that is, this will be over before you know it, <laughs> is kind of my opinion of that translation. Okay, let's continue on. Cool expression, though. Ooh, love that voice again. Good voice acting. Nani iteru no. So, nani, what? We all know nani, right? Iteru no. So, with that no is on the end for a question. She's asking a question. What are you saying? So, iteru. So, the continuous form of to say, to utter. So, what are you saying? <laughs> so, speech more clearly. Commanding her there. So, moto more hakiri clearly. Ite. So, I, I don't know why there's a question on the end. Can't you speak more clearly? I guess you should maybe translate that. But, moto hakiri ite. Speak more clearly. Ooh. Let's, let's listen to that one more time. That was so cool in Japanese. Matomete <laughs> koi, so cool. So, um, matomete is all at once or all together. Koi, come, come at me. So she's saying, uh, in a very just imperative, not polite form at all, right? Come at me all at once. Matomete koi. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Visual is amazing. <laughs> Okay, a little bit complex there, but we have sono show, so those lives or maybe that life, depending on what she's talking about here. Again, context is very important for Japanese. Asatsuyu, so the morning dew. I think she's talking about her own life. Um, so sono show is that life. Asatsuyu, morning dew. To, with. In this case, with. And then, kie u se nu. Kie u se nu. Is that right? Yeah. Kie u se nu. So that means to disappear. Um, that's a. Yeah, maybe, maybe a not super common way of saying that kind of phrase. But in any case, um, that life uh, will vanish or disappear. Um, w with the morning dew, right? So it will disappear with to, um, asatsuyu, with the morning dew. <laughs> Another difficult one there. 
Uh, so we have Naduida, so Tsubutom Tom. And then we have, after that, Watari. So that is to cross over. Um, in this case, with the Watari, they're using it as like a connecting point for Kawa. So what are we crossing over? Uh, Watari Kawa. So crossing over the river. And then De is the uh, location marking particle. So altogether, this first part here, Naduida, is like to calmly cross over. So describing how they're crossing over. And then, so calmly crossing over the river, um, Indo o Watasu, Indo Watasu. So a right to perform or to perform the last rites over the deceased is what we're doing at this description here. So she will perform a rite for those to calmly cross over the river. Basically, she's talking about death, I assume. Maybe. The death of the past to the present, potentially. Um, yeah, she's going to perform that rite. So if we looked at this, she's saying shisha, so the deceased, not tameni. So tameni is like for the sake of. Uh, so for the sake of the dead. And then she's just saying, I told you all, I will mourn for the dead, right? So I will mourn for the dead. <laughs> and then she's using a move. So then she's saying, Oto Bashiru, surge forth. Kako no densen. That's not going to translate, but Kako is past. No densen, lightning flash. Lightning flash is densen. So past, or the lightning flash of the past, right? Uh, so that's her like move that she's using. You can't see her echoes here. Uh, a little too hard, but in her uh, move, you can see like echoes of her past self catch up to her. It's really cool. Ooh, a lot of noise going on, so it's hard to see, her, hard to hear. But uh, Kono, we have Ushinawaretta. So Ushinawaretta is, she's saying this loss. So this loss of memory, Kyoto. So this loss of memory, Kyoto o, and then she says Futa Tabi. So again. So this loss of memory again. This hasn't happened once. She's lost her memory again. again. Someru. Uh, kimi no iro ni someru. Again, that phrase. Um, I will die to your color, or it will die to your color. Die, not like, but <laughs> dying the color, <laughs> right? visuals okay so she says she recognized this is a familiar person so mio boe nu sorry so she says mio boe no aru so familiar and then ona so what kind of person it's a familiar person a familiar woman in this case ona Watashi wo mitsukete. So watashi wo mitsukete is she's telling her in an imperative form there. Uh, so who will you find? Find me. Find me. She's telling her to find her with that te form. Mitsuketa. Mitsukete. Back here. Okay, that's cool. So she says. Saido no anata to. So Saido no anata. Your end or your conclusion. Saido is end. Anata you. And to. Saisho no watashi. My beginning. Saisho is beginning. And then, yeah, just possessive watashi. My beginning. 
So your end and my beginning. Interesting. So all of the past, subete no kako. So again, possessive, all the pasts all. <laughs> this is how you to translate that, like literally. As for all of the past. Okay, that word, kyomu, nihility. Ah, oh, there we go. So nothingness. Um, so kyomu ni kaeshita. So kae, kaesu is to return. So kaeshita, it will return uh, or has returned in this case. It's in the past form. So it's returned to nothingness. It's returned to nothingness. Now she's talking about yadate again before long, namida ga, so tears. Before long, these tears. Ooh. So this phrase similar to disappearing in rain. So before long, these tears will disappear similar to rain. Similar to disappearing in rain. So similar to disappearing in rain, these tears also will disappear. Uh, so ame ni, so in rain or to rain, and then hieru yoni. So that yoni is that similar to. So yoni can be used for other things as well, but in this context, it's similar to disappearing in rain. So similar to disappearing in rain, so will my tears disappear. Good phrase. Okay. Again, lots of epic dubstep moments there. So we have furi mutu na. So furi mutu na is don't. She's, it's an imperative negative now with that na there on the end. So furi mutu na. Don't look back. Don't turn around. Right? Don't turn around. Why is because already modoru michi. So modoru is the verb to return or to send back. Um, yeah, to return, right? And then michi is the path or the road. So in this case, modoru is describing the kind of path or the kind of road. So the return road already mo. Wanai. It's not there. Nai, it, it is not a desistant, right? It is not there. So it's already gone. Officials. Oh, that's a little obsessive, but okay. Very cool. Beautiful. Again, amazing visuals. A little bit of lore there with that fox mask. There's the screen again. And colors. Yeah, there's that, that, again, basically the title. Kimi no irony. Your color. Someru. I will die to your, or it will die to your color. And then find me. Okay, and that's that. Wow, <laughs> what a banner video. So we're going to end on that little screen there. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. And there were a lot of differences if you watch this one compared to the English version. So I suggest that you go watch both kind of side by side and compare them for yourself. But definitely the Japanese version is so much cooler. They use a lot of cool light idioms as well, uh, which is interesting. So if you would like to see more content like this in the future, um, then please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And let me know if you wanna see more like Honkai Star Rail content, what other content you would like to see. And I'll do my best to look at those in the future. Okay, with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.